As we started walking down the frozen food aisle, my husband grabbed my arm to stop me. He gestured to a couple ahead of us and saw that uh, he, he, he saw a handgun sticking out of the back of the man's pants. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here in what we call the Freedom Shack. It has been a while. Uh, we call it the Freedom Shack. If you're new to the channel, we do all the reloading over there. Uh, we do all the building over there. We do reviews here. And uh, this is a display table that uh, we use on time to time. I haven't had an opportunity to get out here in, uh, <laughs> in a long time, so it felt awesome just to jump out here, get it cleaned up a little bit, and a little organized. Okay, so upcoming projects. Uh, this is the kind of stuff we're going to probably show over there on Rumble, uh, but I was contacted by a company to help them in the marketing and testing of a new adjustable gas block. And it was impressive enough, I decided that, you know what, we're going to do this right. So, uh, over on Rumble, we're going to do independent reviews on these items right here. This is a Lancer 17 inch, or this is a 15 inch extra long carbon fiber handguard along with this guy right here. Uh, yeah, proof research barrel, carbon fiber, one and seven twist. Yeah, and <laughs> then we're going to put a Lantac. Uh, this is their EBCG smooth cam port Ford stuff. So we'll go ahead and do reviews on each one of these things. We've got the pins and the gauges and we'll kind of figure out. I think this is probably one of the better ones on the market. Also, Mischief Machine is a company that uh, sent, or I actually met him for dinner and he handed these products to me. Locally owned, American made, right there near uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And I'm going to show these to you this week, man. We're going to help him out. So he's got a really cool deal where he's manufacturing lowers, billet aluminum for the uh, P365. I might even have to go out and buy one of those damn pistols just so we can test one. So that's pretty cool. Got back there to Banshee, Mark 9. I think I've already said that. But the purpose of this video, where is America going wrong? I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at doing bit videos about bitching and moaning and groaning about the greatest things in the entire world, our Second Amendment. Uh, currently, the ATF is just jumping all over this whole thing. We're going to put the link down below so you can go and make sure you do your comments. We're going to do a video this week also on the proper methods, means and methods of doing those comments. But it's important that we all participate. Let them know. I was looking through my gun thing the other day and I was sitting there going, well, I know nine, nine, nine out of nine of my AR pistols will never qualify with that point system they have. And that's basically the sole purpose of that whole thing. The ATF does not want you people to have fun with your short little AR-15 style pistols. Okay, so what are we talking about? The downfall of America. I was sitting there uh, saw this article, just perusing through the whole thing, and it is uh, Upworthy.com. And they're talking about people parading guns through grocery stores does not make them, or America, great. I'm not a big fan of open carry, uh, especially in today's environment, because people get scared. I live uh, in, a, in an area in North Carolina, it's very eclectic. But the biggest thing is uh, a bunch of winnies, ninnies, and, and liberals who don't or probably have never even held a firearm. So when they see one, they freak out. At my local uh, grocery store, uh, the police officer who used to actually you know, provide security, now they go with the private security people who can do nothing but sit there and take a video. Uh, <laughs> A lady came up and complained that there was another lady running around and she had a, uh, a hip holster. I mean, the whole leg thing, man, it was nice. Big old Sig Sauer P226. I actually walked up to her and said, that's absolutely beautiful. And on occasion, I actually do open carry in there. But if you're dressed accordingly, a lot of times nobody really notices or cares. But there are people who are freaked out about it. I mean, just the other day, they had that one thing where the guy was out there fishing with an AR-15 strapped to himself. Probably not very smart. Uh, these people out there doing a two-way gut check. Yeah, that's not doing anybody any favors, to be perfectly honest with you. But anyway, I'm going to read this thing to you, okay? <clears throat> because this is what's the problem in America, that these people, they're not exposed to firearms growing up. As a matter of fact, they consider anyone with a firearm that they're out to do evil. I mean, they see somebody with a gun, they're like, oh my God, we got to escape, got to get out of here. Scrap your buffy, let's go. Okay, so anyway, that's my liberal... Thing. Okay, last summer, my husband and I went to a grocery store in Sandpoint, Idaho to pick up some ice cream. 
Now, you need to think Idaho. Shit, man. Potato country. These people need guns. They love guns. As we started walking down the frozen food aisle, my husband grabbed my arm to stop me. He gestured to a couple ahead of us and saw that uh, he, he, he saw a handgun sticking out of the back of the man's pants. Sandpoint, I guess the place in Idaho, is an idyllic small mountain town on a pristine lake where people come to stay for water sports in the summer and skiing in the winter. It's also not far from where to Walmart, where a two-year-old, they had to throw this in here, I always think it's interesting, when a two-year-old had pulled a handgun out of his mom's purse and killed her with it several years ago. Well, unfortunately, that kid's not going to have a parent, and that parent was dumb enough to leave a handgun where the two-year-old can get a hold of it. I think we can all be in agreement with that. But I hate it because they have to include stupid shit that's irrelevant to the article other than, oh my God, handguns are dangerous. Little two-year-olds out here killing mommy. So anyway, we turned around and left the ice cream aisle. It's terrified, okay. Choosing to wait until the openly armed shopper left. And we were irritated. Seeing a man with a gun in a grocery store aisle feels like living in a war zone. Meanwhile, Sandpoint's violent crime rate is half the nation of the average, national average. Might be because you got people in the community walking around with handguns, and the bad guys know it. I put it, dot, jo, I put it up to demographics. Probably not a lot of gangbangers he, he, hanging out there in, uh, what is this place, Sandpoint. <laughs> Twitter user Khaki shared a similar encounter in an Oklahoma Trader Joe's with a photo of a man with a handgun and a holster on his hip at a salad display. Because, you know, I'm getting real close here. You know that these people carrying these handguns, getting their salad, are just evil. Good gracious. Oh my gosh, I have no idea if this guy is stable or mentally ill, she wrote. Is he bothered by the heat and has a short fuse today? What if someone makes him feel mad and has poor impulse control? I'm not willing to risk my life for groceries, so I just left Trader Joe's. This is the shit, excuse my French, that just chaps my ass because... These people are influenced by the mainstream media. The mainstream media has led these individuals to believe that anyone with a firearm is a damn potential criminal. Oh, if you got a gun, oh, oh, guys, I don't leave the house without a hand cannon, okay? And I'm sure the people watching this, y'all don't leave the house without a handgun either. Now, especially since you live in Texas. All right, so anyway... I had the same thoughts on the ice cream aisle in Idaho. Not only do we not know this person's mental state, but with no... Well, okay, so here's where it gets kind of stupid. All right, so not only do we not know this person's mental state, but with a gun so openly broadcast, what's to stop another unstoppable shopper from grabbing the gun from them? Well, first of all, you live in a neighborhood. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Uh, I'm sure these guys think they'd be quick to stop someone from doing so, but there are dozens of scenarios where the confrontation ends very badly for them, as well as for the innocent bystanders who just want to buy some freaking lettuce. Guys sitting there, you remember the whole thing when they had uh, Men in Black and uh, I guess Will Smith, you know, Agent K or R or Orange or whatever the hell you called him. And all the you know the military guys and the, and the lights were flashing and all the aliens and everything. And here's this alien blowing his nose. Here's an alien blowing his nose. He's minding his own business. He's not doing anything wrong. Yet everybody shot him because they thought he was out to do evil. It's kind of sick. State laws. All right, this is one that chaps. Oh, you know the word chaps my ass. State laws vary when it comes to open or concealed carry, but this isn't an issue of legality. It's an issue of morality, responsibility, and sensibility. Because I can, or because it's my right, it's not a good enough reason to do something. Well, I'm kind of in agreement with that. I believe that everybody should be able to carry a gun. I believe that you shouldn't have to tell everybody in the entire world that you carry a gun. But I also believe that you have the right to open carry like we do in North Carolina. Kind of a touchy situation. Uh, because it's my right is not a good enough reason to do something, not when you live in a community where other human beings. Yeah, this is the difference, okay? It's my right, whether you're here or not. I don't care. Get over it. And this is when you're not exposed for, of, of a lifestyle or growing up with firearms and you see somebody out there and they have a firearm, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother my wife. It doesn't bother my kids. But then you get some person who starts to freak out. And it's, it's not, just because you have a right doesn't mean you have to do something. 
Oh my God. Uh, your fellow citizens matter, and I would guess that most people feel less safe, not more, when they see someone with a gun sticking out of their pants at the grocery store. I kind of like to keep mine concealed, but I also kind of like, you know, I don't know. Oops, I left my uh, my shirt above my hand cannon as it was sitting back there. <laughs> you might argue that you care for your protection or even the protection of those around you, but the good guy with a gun idea has been outed as a myth. Bullshit. Um, you know what I've noticed been outed as a myth is that a liberal who doesn't like guns thinks that we're safer without them. Over and over again, where did this come? A good guy with a gun idea has been outed as a myth over and over again. Can anybody help me out with that? That's a really good idea to tell me what in the world they're talking about. That myth and a fairly consistent mass shootings in the U.S. are why most of us see random person with a gun as a threat. I gotta agree. Uh, because ever since Joe Biden has become president, why in the hell are we getting all these mass shootings? Answer me that down below. I would say we aren't living in the wild, wild west, but even in the west of the 1880s, guns being carried where lots of people gather was known to be an issue. That's why Wyatt Earp prohibited people, oh, good God, making visitors turn in their guns. Other old west towns had similar problems. All right, get on with it. Okay, here we go. Uh, all I see when I see someone wearing a gun while running errands is fear and paranoia. No one's feared. I'm not fearing it. You know what I'm fearing something is that when... Uh, I get people trying to play grab ass with me while I'm driving down the road and I left my gun at home because you never know who is getting ready to celebrate a holiday and shoot your happy ass. It happened. I don't know. This African-American person drove around shooting white people. Of course, you know, there's been a lot of thing, things going on where a bunch of white people ran around shooting black people. So I just think of it like this. I want to protect myself. All I see Okay, so which which is a bad combination when mixed with a deadly weapon. Imagine if someone had a machete sticking out of the back of their pants everywhere they went. Well, if he's a sugar cane farmer, he's probably going to have a machete hanging out. Wait, wait a minute. Wow. I just happen to have this big old guy sitting right here. Well, does that make me a bad person or paranoia? This element of American culture causes people in other developed nations to look at us in utter bafflement. You can tell that this was written as an op-ed by somebody who's never had any exposure to firearms. And it's not just because criminals have a gun. States with higher gun ownership rates have higher gun death rates. States with stricter gun laws have lower gun death rates. I don't know if they've ever heard of this place called Illinois or New York or New Jersey. I don't know. Maybe not. Ideology aside, the math favors fewer guns and stricter laws, not the free-for-all gun culture gripping a distant portion of the country. Additionally, how can we truly say we're, we're a great nation if people feel like they can't leave the house unarmed? Well, I agree. But, you know, here's the thing. Law enforcement today, the politicians could give a shit about taking the firearms away from criminals. They just want to take guns away from, oh, I don't know, good old law-abiding people like myself and you and everybody else. Uh, I can't wrap my brain around the mindset. What kind of warped version of freedom is that? Well, it's the same version of freedom where you think it's okay to tax everybody and do exactly what Joe Biden wants. I live in a rural, urban, and suburban areas and in all different regions of the country. Not once in my 46 years of life have I ever felt the need to carry a gun. Pepper spray? Sure. Yeah, you're going to get your ass killed with that shit. Absolutely. A loaded handgun? No. A loaded handgun sticking out of my pants, as everyone knows, I hate it. I have it. Criminy? No. Criminy? No. <laughs> and now, all right, we're going to touch on Texas. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> and now we have states like Texas making it legal for people to open carry guns without even having to having a license or a permit. And here's the mis the misnomer. Here it is. That means no background checks. Oh, I don't know. Do you is this true, Texans? Uh <clears throat> can y'all just go in and buy a gun without a background check at all or next? No gun safety education, no training to assure that a person knows how to handle a firearm or screening or screening to make sure that they aren't homicidal maniac. It's pure madness. People say that the rights guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution are what make America great. Okay. We're going get, to get on with it. Freedom that feels like fear isn't true freedom. And wearing a gun in a grocery store feels like nothing but fear to me. That's to you. 
that's where we are in the world. The mainstream media informs these people of everything that, well, it absolutely, most positively has to be true, correct? And I know this is a long video, but I'm getting sick and tired of individuals out there who have never held a firearm, don't even know the, minute, the parts and the pieces. They're taking, oh, you shouldn't have a, a barrel shroud. It's called a freaking handguard. Uh, muzzle blakes, just things like this. Every time a politician gets involved and starts diminishing our rights, <laughs> they don't know what the hell they're talking about to start off with. But anyway, this is what we have in America. This is what's wrong with America right now. You have ninnies, like the person who I just read this from, and I'm not going to mention any names. I'll put the link to that article down below, and you guys go read it. Let me know how angry it makes you feel. Because here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. As Biden says, uh, if you see something, say something. Well, to that person, anyone who has a gun is a potential terrorist or criminal or murderer. And that's the way they see it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Sorry for the long video, but I just, this is the shit that just chaps my ass nonstop. So I'm looking forward to doing some really cool build series. Uh, this gas block, you guys, when the, when the time comes that we actually put it on the barrel in this whole series, you're going to be blown away by it because it is truly revolutionary, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to tackle it. But anyway, with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. KB32, and I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Two. Oh, and I need a haircut.